My name is Carolyn Michael, and I'm currently a student at the College of St. Scholastica pursuing instrumental and vocal music education. I'm in my last semester of undergrad, and last year performed a solo recital entitled The Nature of Femininity. On this recital, I had the privilege of working with matinee musicale historian Brad Snelling to present a piece unique to the organization. Faith Helen Rogers, the composer of A Ballad of Trees and the Master, was born in Grand Junction, Michigan in 1886, and later moved with her parents to Superior, Wisconsin, where she attended high school. After graduating from the Oberlin Conservatory in 1907, Rogers spent two years studying piano in Berlin with Adele Austeroa, a former student of Franz Liszt. After her return to the Midwest in 1909, Rogers became a very active member of the musical communities in Superior and Duluth, Minnesota. She was director of music for Duluth's Apollo Club from 1914 to 1918, and she played on numerous programs for Duluth's Matinee Musicale, which had been founded in 1900 and continues to present classical chamber music concerts today. There are hundreds of articles from the Duluth Press mentioning Rogers' musical activity during this time, including her performances in 1917 for the dedication of Pilgrim Congregational's new church on East 4th Street, which would later become a regular venue for matinee musicale concerts from the late 1930s onward. Rogers was also a talented composer. Her Ballad of Trees and the Master, which I will perform, was awarded the top prize in 1914 for a national composition sponsored by the National Federation of Musical Clubs. In the following year, the ballad was performed at the Superior Hotel in Superior by the internationally known Austrian-American contralto Elizabeth schumann Heinck. After her recital, the singer told the local press that she regarded the ballad to be a wonderful work, and she told Rogers herself that she intended to perform the work again at her next recital. Rogers' other compositions include two sacred works for voice, which were printed by the American publisher G. Shermer after her untimely death from Spanish influenza in 1918. Rogers died at 32 on board a ship which was en route to France, where she was to entertain troops with the YMCA. Her death came just five days before the November 11th armistice for World War I. To honor her, Matinee Musicale established a scholarship fund in 1919, which was meant to encourage area students who wish to pursue music as a vocation. Faith Helen Rogers is mentioned in a history of Matinee Musicale, which was written in 2000 by Sister Mary Richard Boo, a historian and president of the College of St. Scholastica, where I have recently performed the ballad on a program featuring vocal and percussion works by female composers. I hope you enjoy my performance and appreciate a little bit of Matinee Musicale history coming back to life. Thank you. 